giant metallic radio towers stretch beyond the San Francisco skyline into unfettered imagination. And yet, radio in the 50s seemed to be full of remnants of several generations who didn't find it very exciting anymore, except for a short while when early rock and roll tested out its new transistors. It was comfortable because it worked when you turned it on, but it was numb from the pelvis down. It's 68 degrees in Something spectacular is happening on KEWP. Then, a globular Beatle media blitz blew fresh life into radio and made it a contemporary idea again. Suddenly, to hear the story right now, to hear the music right now, to share the new awareness right now, you had to turn on the radio right now. Radio, once the crooning darling of our grandparents, then second lead to the silver screen, and finally, faded plaything lost behind the video glare was ready for the next stage of its evolution. And in the 25 years it's been since, our experience stands out as one of the best. One by one, our lives were changed, made richer and more dynamic. We were given something. By looking back now from this angle, the perspective will better enable us to discover what it is we were given. There are many beginnings because each person's story of KFRC opens and shuts with their personal time spent there. We'll leave it to you to weave them together into their own bigger picture. Here's where we start. It's nighttime in San Francisco. San Francisco in the 60s, when conventional old KFRC changed its format from a confusing multi-language block programmed wallflower. KFRC into the unconventional, streamlined, all-hit, more music legend that captured our hearts. A brilliant idea knows no boundaries, no clocks, no set places, no patterns. Those all come later. Ladies and gentlemen, this is RKO General Broadcasting for the Bay Area. KFRC San Francisco. The idea comes in a flash, illuminating all dimensions, and is so strong as to actually transform one's life. The idea that occurred to Bill Drake was one of simply broadcasting the pop moment with nothing less than personal best. Take the best there is and make it better. If McClendon accidentally unearthed and dusted off the magic lamp with his jukebox repetition of the hits, Bill Drake purposely rubbed it with formatic precision until it glistened, and later made the genie his program director. This is Tom Rounds. Of course, we didn't know it at the time, but for radio, 1966 was pretty simple. No CDs, no cassette tapes, no Walkman, no MTV. People had to listen to the radio. AM radio. And you could own a market, the whole market. You could deliver 15 and 20 shares of the entire population. And you played the hits. Just one great record after another. Ladies and gentlemen, KFRC thanks you for your overwhelming response to the parade of hits and pledges to continue this solid gold non-stop marathon of the greatest records of all time. And the hits just keep on coming. KFRC, San Francisco. 9 a.m. at the Big 610. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Got those Camaro couples every hour. All of the great photograph records going to play what you say to it. 433-4610. Come on. This is the parade of hits from KFRC and KFRC-FM San Francisco. A service of RKO General for all the Bay Area. It's 2.30. And the hits just keep coming. Find that chick that won't play games behind you. Neil Diamond, Solitary Man. Big hit record on the big 610 KFRC. This is Royce Johnson. It's 611 at KFRC. 74 beautiful dance in Greece. KFRC, San Francisco. The big 610 getting bigger every day. These were truly the good old days. Again, Tom Rounds. 
And did we know we had it so good? Well, we all knew that every single day in 66, things would never be like they were last week or even yesterday. The changes were coming down very fast. At some especially great moments, it even seemed like we were making this happen. I love you. You are traveling back through time. KFRC plays more music. Ain't it the truth, though? KFRC Gold Rush time at the Bobby Dale Show, 1257. I'll put a spell on you. You're the end. Oh, it's so much. James Brown, the famous oh, player, the guy that started the whole out of sight, 1964, socket it to you on the Jay Stevens Show at 308. KFRC. 937 on a Christmas Eve, KFRC Christmas time, Dale Norman Hill. Honey child, you is nice. I love you and all that other stuff. This is Martha and the Vandellas. On KFRC and KFRC FM San Francisco, this is Robert W. Schultz with the news at 6. Tonight's the night. At this is Bob Safford. KFRC 2020 News at 20 minutes before 1. He's still there. Starting tomorrow, the KFRC time machine is ready to take you back to one of those golden years. Yeah, do you want to press? May 833, KFRC Paracamero time. Mike Phillips Show Thursday morning. I found out that this portion of the Phillips Show is being sent to our armed forces overseas. So I guess I'm going to have to give all the time checks as 0832, KFRC Paracamero time. The Big 610. In 1966, the Big 610 really was pretty much the only game in town. And the jocks played the hits, everybody's hits, the only hits. Every day, Mike Phillips, Ed Mitchell, Howard Clark, Royce Johnson, Bobby Dale, Sebastian Stone, Glenn Adams, Bob McClay, and all those who came after did the job for the most eclectic population to ever inhabit a single city in any country. We knew that and we knew we had a great station. Pretty exciting times. And, ladies and gentlemen, the beat goes on. Right, Bill? Ladies and gentlemen, the beat goes on. KFRC San Francisco. The beat goes on. Yes, the beat goes on. It began cautiously, with typical Drake deliberation. Going in, they just wanted to play it safe and focus attention on the music. So they decided to play the hits. KFRC hit lines are open 433 The number to call to chuck her and tell me you love me so I can sock those boss jams to you. Credence, Clearwater Revival, burning, cooking, getting on it, causing a commotion. Yeah, John, do it! KFRC. Well, the diamond's next, and as the sun slowly sinks majestically behind the Golden Gate Bridge, a tear comes to the eye of the chucker. This is my last show for KFRC. I'm being shipped out, folks. Transferred to our sister station in Los Angeles, KHJ. I tried to do right, gang. It's a conspiracy. The chucker left you. Remember that. Remember the chucker. of the beautiful ball bearings through the canals of the gold in the diamond mine. Glen Campbell sounds good in Galveston. It's 619. KFRC. So you say you're blowing smoke rings out of the side of your mouth. Well, I've been doing my homework all day long and now the house is empty and the folks are gone. I'm loaded with gold, Toddy, so get with it. Come on, everybody. This is Ron Robertson, KFRC 2020 News at 20 minutes past four. Bay Area Colleges and Universities. It's 20 minutes before eight. This is William Abbott, KFRC 2020 News. Roy Story Sports. There are reports that LaMonica will go to Buffalo in exchange for O.J. Simpson. That's the sports story. This is Roy Story. More music. KFRC. This is Ben the Dick Saint Show. Thank you. Thank you very much, San Francisco. You've been out of sight. It's only fair that I should leave you with a message of significance for these our turbulent times. Say goodbye, Dick. I mean that. Easy. You got what it takes. Dave Clark cooking. You got what it takes. Hit bound right here on the Sebastian Stone hey, Show. Hey, Special hey. request on a hit hotline at 4 3 It's 7.54 right now, KFRC. 
Power Flower Time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Solid Gold Weekend. KFRC San Francisco. 7.30 in the city. This is Charlie Van Dyke. KFRC. On a Solid Gold Weekend. Keeping the beat of the Motor City. These are the Supremes from 1965. Back in my arms again on a hit line for San Jose, Palo Alto, and Vallejo. The first time you heard the sound of KFRC, you were impressed. It seemed to have more going forth than anything else on the dial. The air staff seemed to know something no one else in the industry had picked up on yet. Its enthusiasm was more pronounced. It sparked more focused, yet somehow contained. You had to listen again, even if it was just to see if the disc jockeys could keep it up. And they did. Effortlessly, they would speak. Tirelessly, they would promote. Resolutely, they would sell. Flawlessly, they would never interrupt the music's vocals. Every jock, every time. Amazing. Even the fidelity was bigger and better. The more you listened, the more you heard more. KFRC. Mark Elliott, inviting you to return with me to 1963 in the music of Dickie Lee. 3 o'clock in the city, this is Steve Lundy. Don't get out to and do it. Brown sugar, take it on a stone. Mark Lindsay, formerly of Paul Revere and the Raiders, now doing it on his own. Silver Bird, 908 at KFRC with Frank Terry. Oh, that is so beautiful. And it's Don McLean from American Pie and Winter What I Love It. I love it. It's 1212 at KFRC. This is Frank Terry. I went to a party last night. The 610 men had a party. And then after the party, I went over to Bob Foster's house. And let me tell you something. It's really far out to be brought to work in the morning in an ambulance. Woo! Foster on KFRC at 627. Been broke, busted, disgusted, maladjusted, dejected, infected, defected, rejected. And now I'm resurrected. Ashton Gardner and Dyke. Come on! Da, 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 da. That's the only part I know, but I can do that good. La, da, da. That's Robert John. The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Another hit on KFRC with Bob Foster getting all right at 643. Number one then. And number one now. Bill Drake said recently, the legend that became the Big 610 is built firmly on the rock-solid foundation laid by its program directors. KFRC. RKO paraded in the country's best. Tom Rounds, Les Turpin, Ted Atkins, Paul Drew, then Sebastian Stone, Michael Spears, Les Garland, Jerry Cagle, Mike Phillips, and Dave Sholin. Paul Drew. I don't know who they were, but at the San Francisco airport, when I arrived, there were several gorgeous, long-haired young ladies, some with flowers in their hair, one had a guitar, and they were singing, Hello, San Francisco. I was nervous. I had to follow Ted. Ted followed me in Detroit. The biggest break. During the first week, the news department had pro football tickets. Ann and I used these to see the 49ers at Kizar, a real dump, and then the Raiders at the Coliseum. I came to realize just from these experiences that the Bay Area wasn't Knob Hill. This was Milwaukee. The biggest decision, saying yes to the sales manager Irv Ivers and Matthews TV became the KFRC sponsor, Tom Campbell and all, and eventually the station's number one advertiser. You better believe it. KFRC. And now, KFRC makes another Christmas wish come true. My name is Ron Sh Shepard, and, and, and I wish for a, um, a, a postcard duplicator to give out our monthly notices for to Kim Chapter of the Order of the Arrow, of, of which I'm the secretary. Uh, uh, m m Mr. Secretary, you've, uh, you've got one. We appreciate hearing from you, uh, r r r r Ron. And that postcard mim mimeographer is on its way. Ha happy holiday season. Merry Christmas from K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K K
Good morning. This is Miss Tomlin, your operator. How may I be of assistance? Yes, my name is Jim Carson. Jim, and how do you spell that, please? G Y M. Uh huh. Would you breathe very deeply into the phone, please? <gasps> yes, just when I thought you're the obscene phone caller we've been trying to locate. KFRC. Well, I've been loving you long enough, for one day anyway. Bobby Ocean loves you a little more. Next, this is Jim Carson. I'll be back in the morning at 6, blowing off those albums. Till then, you have a good one. She is so Hey, 10 o'clock at KFRC San Francisco. I'm Bobby Ocean, and it's Friday, man. I've been waiting all week. Get out and cook in the city, and here it is, and here I go. Turn it up. A great staff of jocks. Again, Paul Drew. First day, Charlie Van Dyke. Morning man, driving around during the day, involved in the contest to give away a Corvette, coming in at 11.30 at night to cut the winner's promo so it would be fresh the next morning. Bob Foster. One night I'm in my office, he comes up with a line, haven't seen this much gold since I was at Fort Knox. Son of a gun. It's the only time I've ever used a line twice. Outstanding group of technicians. Roger Stout, who put Roger in the production studio. He looked like a hippie that had been sent over from Central Casting, but he was brilliant. So was his girlfriend, Pat Palmer, who did continuity. Enid, great secretary. Terrific music ladies, Carol and Diane. In traffic, Susan Snyder, the best. Diane Watkins did our promotion. The best top 40 news staff in America. Nixon peace plan, nothing new. This is B.R. Bradbury, KFRC News. The NAACP moves in to save Shaheen. This is Robert Hatch, KFRC News. I'm Ron Castile, KFRC News. And now from San Francisco, more music with Jack Friday for Jim Carson. It's 7.52. I'm stuck in the middle with you. And I like it. Again, Paul Drew. It was a privilege, it was a pleasure to just be immersed in this brilliant operation. Everybody was just superb. What do I miss the most? The tuna salad sandwiches from Patrick's. KFRC, San Francisco. KFRC, good morning, friends and relations. Welcome to Monday morning. And thank you for tuning in. Leave your problems and cares behind. Because I've got plenty to go around. What's more important, after all? You lay awake in your half-awake bliss. Open one eye halfway and the clock glows in the dark, saying you've got at least another half an hour more to sleep. And then, in mere microseconds... <laughs> And then you do what you've always wanted to do. You take the cotton chicken thing, and you cut it, and you take it, and you smash it, and you tear it to pieces, and you get the thing to shut the gun. Ah. And the tears of a clown. 51 degrees in the city at 745. Jack Hines, KFRC News. 12 o'clock noon at KFRC San Francisco, and it's me, Uli, Eric Chase. I got six. I think I'll probably find some, you know, get some today. Satisfaction, I'm talking about. KFRC. All right. Well, all right. Should we, should we not indeed rock and roll on a weekend, on a Saturday in San Francisco? Please, so. I have a memo here. It says, Eric Chase, please try to be objective in uh, playing Rolling Stones records. Well, if you don't know me by now, man, uh, what do you think I'm in this business for? I've got to have my rock and roll that's done best by the Stones. <laughs> Coming to KFRC in San Francisco from Dallas, Texas, was uh, pretty much culture shock for me in 1973, Michael Spears, because, uh, well, uh, we had just made uh, our FM station in Dallas, which was the third FM in the United States doing a top 40, uh, the number one station in Dallas. And when Pat Norman called the manager, I didn't know who he was. 
And he called a couple of times, didn't return the call because I thought he was a record promoter. <laughs> and, but later I found out after calling back who Pat Norman was and what he wanted, and that was to talk to me about coming to KFRC to be the program director. I laid down the phone for a couple of minutes and said, uh, hold on just a second. When I stop shaking, I'll give you an answer. I came out to KFRC, and as I was riding through the streets of the city in the cab looking around at the beauty, I thought to myself, if I blow this job interview, I'm going to cut my throat. You! You! We live where you live. Yes, we do. We play where you play. Yeah, we do. We do for you. Oh, yes, we do. You made us one of a kind. That's why we keep you in mind. You! We play it for you on KFRC. This is Mike Novak at KFRC. All the hits, all the time. This is KFRC San Francisco. It's 11 o'clock, and I am Jack Friday. Green eyed lady, you love you. 731 with Tom Kennedy at KFRC. All the hits, all the time. KFRC with Tom Kennedy. The clown to the left of me is JJ, who will be in at 10 o'clock tonight. It's 7.30. In the city, it's 53 degrees. I'm Barry Ellis, KFRC News. And now, more music from San Francisco with Bobby Ocean. <laughs> It's easy for you to be in a good mood, Igor, but my elephant just threw up all over my space shirt. Here is your one-minute elephant training lesson for today. Oh, thank God. I had fun today. That's going to do it for me, Bobby Ocean. See you tomorrow at 12 noon. Uh, it is that same time now on KFRC San Francisco. I'm Kevin McCarthy, and I haven't had anything to drink yet today. We're going to change that. KFRC, and I knew fairly well, especially after being in the laboratory testing my wares all last night. Make me own wine, you know. The Monster Mash from Bobby Boris Pickett. All hits, all the time. America's greatest KFRC. I came to KFRC as Hal Martin changed my name to my real name because I wasn't on the air anymore and that certainly is a godsend for America the day I came off the air. Again, Michael Spears. Brought in a number of people that you may remember, Kevin McCarthy and Bo Weaver and uh, we had some great talent and later Dr. Don Rose with Jack Hines and Dave Cook and Joe Interante, the first uh, woman DJ, Shauna, and of course the great music director Dave Schoen and Don St. John, J.J. Uh, Johnson, uh, Jan Yana Hero, and of course I remember the first time I met Bobby Ocean. Uh, I knew I was in San Francisco coming from a pretty traditional Texas background when the first guy I met hugs me in 1973. I was a little nervous. And of course the first user-friendly engineer Bob Canner and Marvelous Mark and John Mac Flanagan. What a stand. KFRC California's great entertainer. Dr. Don, 619. With the devil that greets you warmly. Dr. Donald D. Rose, 19 after 6 o'clock. Anything happened while you were asleep last night? Pacifica Police Department restroom was cleaned out by burglars. Detectives have nothing to go on. <laughs> I can identify that. One time I dated a weatherman's daughter. I figured I had better than a 50-50 chance of something. Oh, yeah. One Don was not enough for you today, huh? So you got three more hours of Don. And it's just a little past 9 o'clock. And I say music, I've got it. Got just what you need. You're going to strike up some memories you didn't even realize you had. KFRC. My love is alive and on fire. Make no mistake about that. Gary Wright music with Don St. John. It's the latest survey estimates are in, and thanks to you, KFRC again has more listeners than any other Northern California radio station. I hereby proclaim this week as Women in Music Week in San Francisco. They richly deserve it. That's Mayor George Moscone. I'm Joe Interante, and Grace Slick has been enough. She cut him loose just to keep him on the run. Let him know who's boss, right? <laughs> Six after three on KFRC and Beverly Fox with Earth, Wind, and Fire coming up. This is O'Brien, and don't forget, we got the latest gasoline availability situation this weekend. Listen for Gas Watch, and we'll do it starting tomorrow night. Win. Up to $1,000 with the history of KFRC. Listen closely. Here is the phrase that pays. KFRC plays all the hits. 
Now let me repeat that. <laughs> KFRC plays all the hits. KFRC. Super Streaker, Chuck Mule. Tomorrow I'll be counting down the official San Francisco Top Ten in order at 4 o'clock. KFRC, that's the kind of sound that makes you want to... Belongs to me from the Superman album Barbara Streisand. Your request from the city is 25 before 2. Mucho Morales for you. She wants to do it for you. She really does. The only disc jockey I have ever worked with who ever kissed me on the lips. That's right. The Dr. Don tried once, but that doesn't count. <laughs> Shana wants to do it for you next on 610. She's got the best music. Well, since you put it that way, let me just play my funky music for you. It's your lady Shana doing it a little before 10. <laughs> KFRC with your lady Sean here. You know what? Marvelous Mark's always kidding me about, you know, being kind of a little sleazy at times and kissing him on the lips and things like that. I don't want to lead you astray. I only do it if I have good intentions in mind, like taking a free ride. KFRC News. Breakthrough. It looks like the nurses are going back to work. This is Dave Cook. 20 days on the picket line. You. You are the sunshine. You are the reason we do what we do. Again, Michael Spears. What I did at KFRC, I really learned from the old Gordon McLendon days, personality radio, which began with giving away Mick Jagger's car. We had all kinds of crazy weekend promotions. Uh, we did uh, the largest super walk in the history of the March of Dimes with Donnie and Marie Osmond, uh, where we raised a quarter of a million dollars in one day. And of course, not to forget the uh, first satellite broadcast that was ever done uh, from Australia, uh, where we uh, switched disc jockeys with an Australian air staff for the American Bicentennial. The people made the difference in uh, KFRC. A lot of talent, a lot of people trying to prove something. I cherish those years I had at KFRC. We do it for you on KFRC. KFRC unveils the official 610 Stones car. Look closely. It's autographed by Mick Jagger himself. As you approach this sporty machine, the car beckons you. It seems to be speaking directly to you. Start me up. I'm riding in your car. You turn on KFRC. KFRC. Hook it all day. 24 hours a day. Well, I became completely enamored with radio growing up in a small southern Missouri town, dialing in at night to some legendary radio stations like WLS in Chicago, KXOK in St. Louis, and KAAY in Little Rock. And then in 1965, I first heard Cliff in Dallas. And that put me over the hump with those dreams of a career in radio. Les Garland. I met Pat Norman in Washington, D.C. and got the nod to head west for the Big 610. That's where I inherited the greatest radio station team ever assembled. Pat Norman, vice president and general manager. Dave Sholin, music director. Joe Interante, KFRC's news director. The lovely Connie Gordon, public affairs. Bob Canner and Phil Lurza, engineering. Ron Hummel, production chief. A great air personality staff. Dr. Don Rose in the morning. Don St. John, Rick Shaw, John Mac Flanagan, my assistant PD, Mark McKay. We do that track one more time. The studio musicians are ready. Okay, is everybody ready to go? The producer is at the controls. Okay, guys, let's roll. And you are there. <laughs> the rhythm of San Francisco. K. F. R. C. John Mark Flanagan will die for a Bay Area high school football team. Yes, he will. A little bit after 2 o'clock with Rick Shaw. Light your fire. And 31. And John Mac Flanagan picking up the phone and making another cash call. Don't say hello when your phone rings. I mean it this time. I mean, I got I got $2,000 to give away. When your phone rings, give me the phrase that pays and tell me the title of this song. KFRC, you are so beautiful, so far out, and John Mac Flanagan loves you. Why am I whispering like this? All right, now lower the mi lower the microphone. Uh, uh, a little lower, please. Yeah, I think we've got it together now. It's a uh, little after nine o'clock, and your Duke has arrived. We have a good time this morning at six ten. KFRC. KFRC. Tom Petty living like a refugee. Before five o'clock. Well, well, I just I hate to keep. I, I guess I'm gonna have to go on a diet. Yesterday I wore my snappy BMW racing jacket into town, and three people mistook me for a dealership. 
Winters. I'm John Winters. This is 610 News and Information at 1253. City temperature 60. I'm Robert McCormick. 610 News at 829. City temperature 54. Stephen Capen is San Francisco turning all gay? Uh, no, but we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Program number 787. Oh, no. How'd you know? I didn't. Oh, not again. I didn't. I didn't forget my weather whistle this morning. I remembered. It's just that I left it back here in the drawer. <laughs> Uh, doing anything today, you can come over and help me pick up this. Uh, oh, oh, dear. <laughs> I got a little uh, crawly, creepy thing that comes out in the night there. <laughs> Back here reading the uh, new uh, Playboy magazine. Oh, oh, that is, that's Penthouse. Oh, I see. Oh, a little tough for you, isn't it? Oh, good God. Well, Roscoe. We, we had roast beast for dinner last night. That's Roscoe's favorite. He loves roast beast. Here you go, guy. Get it. Oh, okay, all right. Brought some uh, trifle in for you, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he never even said thank you. KFRC San Francisco, winner of Billboard Magazine's Station of the Year Award. We all continued the building of KFRC, winning the Billboard Radio Station of the Year Award several years running. Explodes into 1978. Again, Les Garland. And we won in the ratings, too, taking KFRC to number one in Northern California for the first time in that station's long and successful history. Uh, now, leave uh, me alone. Uh, I've got uh, news. Uh, uh, now, at 7.33, from San Francisco, yes. Dr. Don Rose plays him for you. No, 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 that's not no? right. Oh. Big Paul Fredericks plays Big? him. Well, Big? I can tell you what. Uh, you, for the one thing, you're in the newsroom. Uh, yeah, turn right. off your microphone. Get your headset. Come on in here. Okay. Here he comes in. He's in my room. Right. Say hi to Elvira. Oh, Elvira. Yeah. She's a prettier than her name. Uh, I tripped over her clothes. In fact, uh, up in Elvira, uh, give give uh, Paul a smooch uh, a little bit. Uh, this will uh, kind of uh, warm hey, him up. Uh, uh, this is called uh, fluffing him up. So you get some ready for the shiz. All, all, right. all disc jockeys have to sound a little bit horny, whether they are or not. So this goes with the job, you know, right? <laughs> after 7. I want to step out into the hall and see if anybody's uh, listening here at the uh, station this morning. Hey, I'm here. Is everybody here? Everybody up? Everybody happy? <laughs> okay, so you're not happy. Well, it's I carry some great memories of my three and a half years at KFRC, setting the national record for the United Fund Super Walk with Robin Williams, one year later with Andy Gibb, the Clio Award for the Close Encounters promo voiced by the late Paul Fries. 610 KFRC pauses for eight seconds of radio silence to extend our frequency of 610 kilohertz, operating at 5,000 watts within a 200-mile omnidirectional radius for possible communication from extraterrestrial beings. We are observing your commanding occupants of interplanetary craft. Who is the secret 610 space cadet? Somewhere within 200 miles of 610, a priceless piece of space history has fallen to Earth. A chunk of space history could be yours. Skylab. Most importantly, I remember the great music presented on KFRC. This was the Disco Sucks era. Instead of following those disco lemmings all over America, we played an array of music leaning a little bit more toward rock, positioning KFRC somewhere between Top 40 and AOR. I want to sing your song Cause music makes us friends And friends like you are what we're here for Doing what we do KFRC was the pinnacle of my career. How could I ever top that great radio station? In my opinion, the very best ever in American radio history. The seven coolest consonants in my career, KFRC and MTV. I trust that says it best.
Radios. They are experiencing history right now. As I speak unto you, I, Jackson Armstrong, on the radio, we are driving down the streets of San Francisco. I believe we're on, uh, we're at the corner of what, Sutter and Montgomery, right along in there. And we're going to be all downtown throughout the day. We're going to drive around in the Sturgeon and give you live radio on the move at KFRC. Yeah, Marcus McKay, what would you look at me like that? Bill Lee just mooned somebody off the side of the mobile <laughs> sturgeon. I can't believe it. We're driving down Van Ness, about to turn on the Lombard, so you can picture this. We got a plane flying overhead that's relaying our signal to the radio station. Next week, we're going to fly the mobile sturgeon and have the plane drive the streets. Just a little challenge for us at KFRC. KFRC, as we travel over the Golden Gate Bridge, we're heading back into the city, heading south as I'm talking to you, and uh, Lloyd Lindsay Young's protege, Wild oh. Bill Lee. Going side to side on the bridge. That would be a long drop, wouldn't it? Oh. Hey, listen, Professor Weather, what's going on with the weather there? Well, the sun is shining as you may have anticipated, and we're drinking wine and intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's Who the cares? high today? Does anybody know the high? Is that Mark McKay? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm oh, high no. too. I Sorry heard Bill no. Lee was going to be. Can't run fast enough for me, pal. <laughs> about what you're chasing or what's making you chase it, you know. We're being chased down the streets on Van Ness. We are live and mobile in the Sturgeon. And Susan Hall, who yeah. is on in the evening between 10 and 2 or 11 to 3, depending upon the day. <laughs> you got that right. Listen, Jackson, I've heard of Jack in the Box, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's no comparison here, I can tell you. Cruising down there with the best of the lowriders down on Lombard, going over to Sausalito, declaring our state of independence on KFRC. And now the Duger, Dan Scholen. Every day at KFRC, we'll describe what is right out the window in front of him. Oh, my goodness. Here's San Francisco. We're at Vista Point. It is nice and blue and crisp and clear. Jackson, I even blew off a lunch with Dick Nixon today just to be out here to do this with you. And let me tell you, there's only one way to describe how this feels. So bitching at KFRC. Jack Armstrong with Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney and the girl is minded. We are mobile boy in the strictest sense of the word. We are live from the Sturgeon on the north end of the Golden Gate Bridge up in Marin. And talking with me is Tom O'Hare, who's on in a weekend. How do you feel about this, Tom? Can you believe it? Fantastic radio history. Uh, 61 years ago, KDKA in uh, Pittsburgh came on the air the first time to broadcast uh, the Harding election returns. So it's kind of an auspicious day. In radio history, the first time that uh, anybody has gone self-contained and mobile, the whole thing is happening, and you'd expect nothing less from KFRC. Say, say, let the music play. For the first 80 minutes of 1980, 610 will pick up the tab for all tolls on the Golden Gate Bridge. KFRC. <laughs> Say it and win. 1981. Judge best in the nation again. For the sixth time since 1975, KFRC San Francisco. KFRC. All started in radio. We had a dream of what the perfect radio station would be. Jerry Cago. As baby DJs, all of us wanted to work in a major market where that big radio station in the sky was the all-consuming, all-powerful entity that we all wanted to get to. It was our goal. I had the opportunity in my career to work in major markets across the country. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, and more. And all of the radio stations that I had heard about did not come close to meeting the expectations of that dream I had when I first got in to work for the all-omnipotent, powerful radio station where everything was perfect. All except KFRC. KFRC! KFRC with Robin Bailey. Boys, this is going to be a good night. I took my took my tongue in this afternoon for a 50,000-word checkup. And <laughs> we're all limbered up and ready to go. I'm going to hit you with the heavyweights right off tonight. I'm Shannon. Do I look like I'm crying? I mean, really, I'd run my makeup. What do I have to cry about? Anyway, I'm going to be giving away tickets real soon. Not now, though. Stick around. It's coming up soon. Hey, if I see him going down for the last time, I just hope there's a long runway when I touch down because I'm going at light speed. 610 KFRC, and my name is Harry Nelson, the professor of useless information. I must admit, the useless information has been just a little bit light tonight. I think you better get on a ball, hop on the telephone, and tell me that some... Just, just tell me something that, that nobody would be interested in. 478 KFRC. Oh, 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 o
610 KFRC, and I'm Harry Nelson. This is turning out to be one of the more stupid evenings in the entire broadcast history, and I just want to thank all of my friends here at 610 for supporting me and making it that way. I'm so happy! Joanna is with me, too, in stereo at 610 KFRC. Right like the wind, Christopher Cross and Bob Anthony at 1118. Super Walk 80s coming up Sunday, March 23rd. 610 and Andy Gibb need you. This is Vicki Liviakis in the 610 Newsroom. And here are some of the stories we're working on for you right now. It's 424, city temperature 59. I'm Mike Sugarman. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, Ronald Reagan. Yes, Mr. Mikey, is it okay if I call you Mr. Mikey? Is that things are a lot more like they are than better than they are? Yes, it's me, your enigmatic reporter, Jane. Traffic is my life doornecker, and the moist fact is it is very wet, and we have had some accidents. Most of them have not been too serious. Gracias very much. KFRC, I'm Billy, all buttered up, running you the latest load of ELO electricity. Not to be missed. Pucker up, you're about to be French kissed by Jeff Lynn's crew who do hold on. KFRC, I'm Bill Lee, a regular James Bond who's beyond the need for 38s. I don't want no handgun when I can stimulate, enunciate, titillate, even liquidate. For your ears only, I still lay down. All right, now take off your clothes and expose a little bit of skin. I want to do some drawing. I'm in the mood to tattoo you. <laughs> A little quirk of mine that always seems to stop me up on KFRC. Again, Jerry Cagle. I only wish that everyone who ever turned on a mic in this business had the opportunity to work at KFRC because it was truly the radio station that we dreamed about. When I programmed KFRC in the early 80s, the one aspect of the radio station that made it different from all the other radio stations I've ever worked for was the attitude. Something that emanated from the walls, from the offices, from the people, from the morning drive jock to the afternoon drive jock, right down to the people that answered the telephones. An attitude that made you walk a little taller, swagger when you move down the street. An attitude that said we are simply the best. And more than anything else, it was the attitude of KFRC that made it great. KFRC San Francisco. Coursing through the electronic arteries of your radio with the life force roots of rock and roll. For now... Use your radio as a time machine and travel back to a time when life was much simpler, ideals were shining, and bedrock pop was setting the beat for our present-day lifestyle. Time machine. Hi, it's Mike Phillips. I was the uh, first morning man at KFRC back in 1966. Ladies and gentlemen, KFRC thanks you for your overwhelming response to the Parade of Hits and pledges to We kicked off the format with Bill Drake's Parade of Hits, which featured uh, songs from the early 50s. Uh, we featured a different year every week. Uh, then for about a couple of months, we played music from, oh, let's say 1956 through 65, and Bill Drake at that time was getting his staff together. We started adding a few currents to the oldies mix until finally we were pure top 40. Um, however, we continue to do oldies, or uh, what we call Solid Gold Weekend, starting every Friday at 3. Uh, I became the program director of KFRC in April of 1984, and uh, at that time there was lots of FM penetration. The thing is, I remember walking into KFRC, and the thing that struck me was that the staff was very up. After all, this was... KFRC. It's as if FM didn't really even exist. Then I did what I always do, which was to tighten up the music. Uh, we put in uh, call-out music research and uh, played the most powerful records over and over. 610 KFRC with a chugger. Yes, just when he thought it was safe to listen to the radio, I'm back. And now I know why there's daytime TV so people go to work. I've got 50 minutes of non uh, I brought music. Chuck Browning and Tom Parker over KFRC. from K101. 610 KFRC with a chugger on a Friday in the city. And then later on this afternoon, I'll be telling you how you can get a copy of my brand new Chuckers cookbook. 610 KFRC with a chugger. Yes, she wants to be a chuckerette and become my snooky wookum. She's just an animal. 610 KFRC San Francisco. The heart of rock and roll.
Chuck, you're looking so good. A couple, three days off like that. Now, apparently the hormone shots don't start affecting your voice until when? Friday? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to do 30 minutes of non-stop music here, and you're over there she-bopping. I... Okay, you do your thing, and I'll do mine. Pardon the expression. 610 KFRC. Hi, welcome aboard the Big Tom Parker bus. We're on our way for one night in Bangkok. Don't drown during the drive. We'll have a great old time. One night in Bangkok, of course, is based on double occupancy. See your travel agent for details. 610 Again, KFRC. Mike Phillips. Uh, at that time, put together a promotion very successfully where uh, KFRC paid listeners rent or mortgage. 610 KFRC. Don St. John here. Hey, be sure to stay near your telephone because a little later this afternoon, I'll be asking you for the KFR secret, and if you've got it, you get yourself car expenses, mortgage, or rent taken care of for an entire month. Just keep it here on 610 KFRC. KFRC. Sounds great in your car. The station sounded good. We were playing solid hit music. The news department and public affairs were among the best I've ever worked with. The long and the short form of it. This is Robert McCormick outside the federal building in San Francisco. Today, of course, is tax day. I see you never to believe who's in town now, right? The American Home Sewing Association National Sewing Show. No, their motto isn't stop needling me. That's someone else. There. Well, Dave, uh, the big word is warmer. It'll be warming all over the Bay Area. Not so much today, but boy, by Wednesday and Thursday, we'll welcome Indian summer back. This is Lloyd Lindsay Young with the sizzling details. The joy of living in Northern California. Engineering superb. The station it's was loud and clean. It right really sounded good. Spot. However, there was one Find problem. The evil beach. FM band. As you drive up the coast, this is what so many stations sound like. And who was it that convinced RKO to sell KFRC FM? 106, 106, 106, 106. Music, KFRC FM. Time marches on. Over 20 years ago, 610 KFRC was on the pulse of a new generation. Time passed. You grew up. Your attitudes changed, and so did KFRC. Now in 1986, we enter a new era together. The music you want to hear, the information that's important, and people that really care when it comes to bringing it all to you. In the last 20 years, a lot has changed. But today, just as back then, we're still the station worth saving a button for. KFRC, San Francisco. Well, hi, this is Dave Sholin. Yes, it's uh, the Duke. And you know the best part of any anniversary is, well, that it provides a moment for reflection, thinking back on uh, great times and special achievements. And, man, we were lucky to enjoy plenty of those at KFRC, the Big 610. I was not only lucky enough to be part of the 610 team for most of the 70s and 80s. They even let me program the place at one time. And, uh, boy, I had a lot of great talent to follow. Programming talent, top personalities, the best management you could imagine. Six ten K M R C on a classics weekend. This is Bob Garrett with Rufus and Chaka Khan. Tell me something good, please. Six ten K M R C rock and roll. It's good for y'all. Nice to have you in tonight. I'm Brian Ray with 20 years of history behind the Big 610. We bring you the best music and make it easy to win. Just call 397-ROCKER, 397-ROLL, and be a part of the celebration. We're guaranteeing 610 winners here on KFRC. KFRC News Time, 1155. I'm Vicki Leviakis with John Evans. All right, you want to check the traffic now? See how it looks out on the roads? Hey, this radio station ain't the only jam, but, you know, an accident in well, that's the way I feel about it. You're a friend of mine. In fact, I've heard uh, from friends all over America the last uh, few days since word uh, got out about the changing of the format at 610 KFRC. So this will be, this is really kind of the end of an era. And I was, I, I got real choked up last night. We were at the dinner table talking about it. And all of a sudden I realized this may be my last rock and roll radio program ever. <laughs> but you never know. Um, the uh, world goes on. Again, Dave Sholin. And we used to joke around in college when I went to a school here at San Francisco State that we would actually pay these guys to let us go in there and, and go on the air 
course, I'd never tell them that. Uh, and I'll never forget having Bo Weaver by my side, helping me uh, learn the formatics. My first time on the air, 1974, was like 2 in the morning and opened the mic. And boy, to say those call letters, KFRC. Still get a rush uh, just thinking about it. Had that big sound, but it also had a special heart. Uh, the station had some warmth, and a lot of people used to comment when they'd come into San Francisco. They knew they arrived in Northern California when they heard KFRC. Every break, every record, it was just something special. Never afraid to try something new. And that uh, goes for all the different program directors I worked with and through the years, right from the first time the station uh, went top 40 in 1966. It's hard to believe 25 years have gone by, uh, but hopefully the station has left a legacy that uh, the programmers of today are carrying on and uh, keeping top 40 alive out there. Yeah, I was one of the lucky ones, and uh, happy 25th. And a happy 25th to all the great people I've worked with over the years at the Big 610. Memories will last forever. The Big 610. KFRC took radio's potential and made it live and breathe and grow. Every time you turned the radio on, you heard a shared sense of purpose. Everyone sounded like they were on a special assignment. Most of the people involved say they've never worked harder or felt more driven. The Big 610 took our spirits and made them soar. What we found out then was too good to keep in the studio. We discovered that the future could be altered because it hadn't been written yet. We became its writers. We realize now our future not only can be, but is being altered constantly. And we've always been the writers. Just what in the world is a radio station? Is it those revered call letters that have been around 62 years? KFRC, is it the dial position, 610? To me, it's more than that. It's the people that have made this one of radio's truly great legends. The people that have gone through here have been incredible people. But most of all, it's, it's all of those people that poured their heart and their soul into this radio station to make it what it is. And we celebrate the 25 years since KFRC came alive for us. Our experience stands out as one of the best. Our lives were given something which made them richer and more dynamic. Looking back now allows each of us to define what it is we were given and in turn, pass it along. The legacy of 610 KFRC.
The Legacy at 610 KFRC. Executive producers Jerry Cagle and Dave Sholin. Produced and engineered by Ron Hummel. With special music by Bobby Ocean. Written and researched by Bobby Ocean and Elizabeth Salazar. A special debt of gratitude to John Catchings, Larry Dundon, Joe Inarante, Jeff Leonard, Phil Lerza, Albert Lord, Mark McKay, Brian Ray, Steve Rood, Bill Scott, and George Zemma. The KFRC song, I Won't Forget You, written and performed by Scott Chapin. I'm Bobby Ocean.